Hi, welcome to another video. So, one of the biggest issues I see with a lot of the automation stuff these days is that most tools are stuck inside their own little worlds. You have an agent for coding, another for writing, another for scheduling, and you're the one stuck in the middle, copy-pasting, and trying to make them all work together. It's a huge pain and kind of defeats the purpose of automation. We've had tools like Zapier or IFTTT for years, and while they're great for simple if this, then that tasks, they lack any real intelligence. They follow rigid, predefined paths. If anything unexpected happens, the whole workflow just breaks. You're not really delegating a task, you're just programming a very simple robot. This creates a ton of workflow friction and cognitive load, especially for developers who are already juggling a dozen different services, from GitHub and Jira to Slack and Google Docs. But there's a new tool called Pokey AI, and it's built to actually fix this fundamental problem of disconnected, unintelligent automation. That's why I thought I should talk about it. Basically, what it does is act as a proper AI agent, a true foundation agent, that can connect to all the different apps you use and run complex, multi-step workflows across them. It's not just a chatbot that gives you text. It's an agent that performs actions. It's built on what they call decision intelligence, which is a fancy way of saying it doesn't just follow a simple script you wrote. It understands the intent of your task, dynamically generates a logical plan, and then executes those steps across different platforms. It's the difference between telling a simple script when a commit happens, post a message, and telling an intelligent agent, keep my community updated on our project's progress. The agent can infer what that means reading commits, summarizing them, formatting them for different platforms, and even handling errors along the way. Think of it as an orchestrator or a conductor. Your individual apps, like your IDE, GitHub, Slack, and Google Slides, are the musicians. Pokey is the conductor that tells each one what to do and when, making sure they all play together in harmony to achieve a larger goal. If it hits an issue, like an API not responding, it can even try to figure out a different way to get the job done instead of just giving up. And the best part is that you do all this with natural language. You're not dragging and dropping blocks or writing complex integration code. You're just describing what you want to achieve in plain English. This is where it moves beyond simple automation and into the realm of truly agentic AI. Now, let me show you how this works in action with some real-world developer workflows, because that's where it gets really interesting. Okay, so to start, I'm heading over to the Pokey AI website. After signing in with my account, I land in the main dashboard. It's a clean, simple workspace with a central chat input, which is where you give your instructions. You can also see a menu on the left for things like scheduled tasks and authentications, where you connect your apps like Google, GitHub, and Slack. It's a one-time setup, and I've already done that. First up, let's try a common task for any dev with a public project, keeping people updated weekly. I'm here in the main chat window. I'm going to type my prompt directly into the input field at the bottom. I'm going to ask it to make me a workflow that can take in release notes from a GitHub repo and build me a simple doc summarizing them. As soon as I hit send, you can see the agent starts processing. Now, look over here on the left side of the screen. Pokey has generated a multi-step workflow, breaking down my request into a logical plan. You can see the individual tasks listed out. Task 1. Search for the latest commits. Task 2. Draft a blog post, and so on. 
It understood the entire sequence from that one simple sentence. Let's watch it work. The first task, connecting to my GitHub repo, gets a check mark. It's done. Now it's actively reading the latest comments, closed issues, and merged pull requests to understand what's changed over the last week. The progress bar for that step completes. Next, it moves on to drafting the content. Finally, it hits the publishing step. It takes the drafted content and posts it directly to my connected Google Docs account. And just like that, the whole process is automated. In the main chat window, it gives me a final summary and the direct links to the live posts. The whole thing done in minutes, and I didn't have to touch a thing after the initial prompt. Now, I want to quickly demonstrate the schedule feature. After that first run, I can decide how frequently I want to use this workflow again in the future. No rebuilding required. For example, I can make it run once again with an exact date and time, or just type my quest in natural language, making it every Friday at 9 a.m. PST. If the repo had a slower week, I can also switch the time range to monthly and save my schedule. This makes the workflow schedulable and parameterized, so I can keep the output posts aligned with my weekly project cadence and channel preferences. Okay, let's try another one. This is something I do a lot, turning documentation into a presentation. I'm starting a new chat by clicking the button on the left. I'm going to give it this prompt. From readme.md, generate a six-slide product overview as a Google Slides deck. Again, the workflow appears on the left. It knows it needs to read the file, identify the key sections, create a Google Slides presentation, export a PDF, and then distribute it. First, you can see it processing the file. It's pulling out the introduction, features, installation instructions, usage examples, and any architecture notes or diagrams. It also picks up repo badges and images referenced in the docs. Then, it moves to the next step, creating a brand new six-slide deck in Google Slides. The agent is now actively working inside my Google account, creating the presentation. It converts each specified section into a separate slide, formats the text, and pulls in badges and images to make the slides look professional. Once the presentation is built, Pokey exports it to PDF. For outputs and delivery, the primary output is a Google Slides deck. The secondary output is a PDF export. The deck is saved to my Google Drive and shared with my team's Google accounts. The PDF is emailed to my inbox. In the main chat window, it returns a summary plus, a slides link to the deck, and a PDF link to the export, so I can open either immediately. Here comes a cooler feature of Pokey. All workflows are reproducible. In this case, if, any day in the future, I need to generate a new presentation file for another product, with exactly the same structure, I just need to go to this workflow, click the workflow inputs, change the title, and upload a new MD file. I get a new file with great consistency. The intro, the images, the usage examples, they're all here for another product. So yeah, as you can see, Pokey isn't just for simple, single app tasks. It's really good at handling these complex, multi-app workflows that are a huge part of a developer's daily grind. You can build these yourself, schedule them, or have them run on triggers. It's a proper agent that connects all the dots for you. I've been using it a bit, and I really think it's a step in the right direction for what AI agents should be. It's not just about talking, it's about doing. You can check them out through the link in the description and try it out for yourself. Overall, it's pretty cool. 
Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.